Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rapido's released the new GE-8, uh, 8-40 CMs, I should say. This is in Canadian National with uh, BC Rail, number 4618, the uh, website scheme. Website scheme just means under the Canadian National is the Canadian National website. So as you'll see, this is DC, DCC with ESU Loc Sound and this MoPower is Rapido's own capacitor. So if you have track interruption, track power interruptions, it'll continue on for a few seconds. So that helps with dirty track and wiring mishaps and stuff like that. So with that said, let's get into the box and see what you get in this 8-40 CM starting right now. Got a nice little design on the box too. Don't show that as much, but it's a nice schematic kind of drawing look to the 8-40CM. There's your manual. One side's English, the other side is French. And there are about 19 pages of information, 20 pages of information in this manual, including Everything from uh, installing a look pilot if you have a DC version, missing parts, operating sound, functions, etc. There's a quick look at the functions list. And outside of that, a little Rapido, where's the parts diagram thing, talks about parts diagram stuff. Stickers. That's kind of funny. Rapido's always taking the hobby lightheartedly, but also seriously enough to provide some serious detail. So it's kind of cool when they're funny and they have uh, some of the highest detailed models out there. All right, in the box, pull out the locomotive. It's in a plastic blister packaging, they call it. Helps to prevent it from shipment. I don't mind these at all. You know, this is a quick way to get a lot of locomotives in and out and safely transport them. I just don't like when I've got to do unscrewing and stuff like that on models. It kind of drives me up a wall, but when you have a lot of models and you want to run stuff. But there's the locomotive. Let's take a closer look. There's some serious action going on on the front of this locomotive. Not only do you have the ditch lights mounted above the MU receptacle on the front. You've got silver tipped accessory hoses and the brake line hose, coupler cut lever, metal KD coupler with glad hand, magnetic glad hand for automatic uncoupling, tri set of class lights. You've got your headlight here, door window, number boards, bell. There's grab irons above the windshields, and there's four separate windows with etched metal windshield wipers you got all the antenna and top roof detail grab irons along the side and sun shades obviously as we go to the side there is a cab interior detail as well that's going to be hard to capture but it's there and then you see the fan grills here with this kind of almost handlebar appearance i think you could pick up the locomotive from the fan grills but those are there. I think that's to keep debris out or snow out. I think that's a kind of a feature. I'm not sure. You got the horn up front, exhaust, radiator fan section. Below, there is the trucks, obviously, and the fuel tank with a fuel tank sight glass and an emergency shutoff there. Air reservoir to the rear here. I think that holds the air for the brake lines. On the back, lots of separately applied grabs. Another MU receptacle on the rear. Grab or coupler cut lever, accessory hoses, spare knuckle couplers, or coupler knuckles, I should say. And you can get a good view of the roof from there, too. Kind of looking up. 
and more of the same on the other side. Now again, website scheme, that just means that uh, it's the cn.ca under the Canadian National logo. You also have a site glass right there, so people can see in or out from the locomotive when they're accessing the prime mover. Then you've got crew access ladder here as well, door latch molded on, separately applied grabs here, yellow paint along the sill of the steps. Uh, on the real thing, that's for crew safety and low light situations so they can still see where the steps are. If you haven't seen already, I got a new scale so you can see the weight along with me. That way there's no trust issues on weight. <laughs> 537 grams. That's one pound, 2.9 ounces. So that's almost uh, 1.2 pounds there. 18.9 ounces total on that. So again, 537 grams for you European folks that use the metric system. All right, we've got it on the track. F8 is start up on this. So let's go ahead and listen to that. All right, with the functions listed, we'll go through a few of these. One is bell. Two is horn. Sounds really good. Three is flange squeal, which kind of have to be moving. We'll skip that over. Five is Doppler horn. Four is a dynamic brake. We can hit that real quick. Pierce 4 is actually breaking the locomotive. So F5 is Doppler horn. Six is ditch lights, which you may have seen pop on. Seven's rule 17 dimming the headlights. Eight is Start up and shut down as I mentioned. Nine is drive hold. Ten is independent brake. Eleven is class lights. I see those popping on. We'll show that in the dark. Twelve switching mo mode. Thirteen's rear headlight. Fourteen's rock lights. If equipped. And there's your second set of lights there in the front, which are rock lights. 15 spitter valve, 16 spitters on shutdown, 17's auto brake set and release. 18 is track inspection light. This thing is just pimped out with all the lights. Now if that one is, we'll have to see in the dark here. Uh, 19 is number boards, 20 is air compressor, 26 is sand valve, 27 short air let off. I'll do that one real quick. 28 is spitter valve slow. So those are your functions. I'm going to go ahead and show you this in the dark real quick. Okay, you should be able to see the locomotive. Got a little night light here so I can see what I'm doing. Headlights obviously zero. And... Six is ditch lights. You can see those. Eleven is class lights. Those are already on, but you can see them change and go off. We're going to change to each position. Red, green, white. Every time you turn them on and then back off. Or off and then back on. So, rear headlight is on function 13, but 18 is track inspection light, which may be on the other side, I'll have to look. Or no, they're 
you see some illumination there and then uh, 19's number boards Those are all independently controlled. And you got your rock lights on 14. That's that second set of ditch lights that just went out. Well, we would call ditch lights, but what is actually called rock lights. So there is quite a bit of lighting on this locomotive. I switched this around, and because of the capacitor, it didn't even really cut off at all. But there's your rear light. That is the only light on the back. That is a function 13. And there are track inspection lights. I lifted it up and looked at the bottom. I can show you. Uh, they're just kind of spread out so they're not blaring down so brightly on the, on the track. See those lights right there? Those are the track inspection lights. They just went out. But there's two on each side. Doing a pull test real quick. Looks like 3.7 it's maxing out at. About 50, 52 cars this thing can pull. Somewhere around there, maybe as little as 45. So not a bad pull test on that. We need two to really get a long con Cisco on though. Right, we're going to check speed control here. I'm going to get it right up to the starting point so we're not waiting forever. A little lurchy at one speed step, you can see from the body of the locomotive there, but not bad at all. There's also a break-in that we don't do, so this is straight out of the box. should be registering any second and we have 0.7 scale miles per hour so that's pretty good. So you hear the prime mover react to the throttle. You know that's one speed step that's two. But let's go ahead. We did an MRA compliance that was all good. Coupler height and wheel set were good. So let's wrap this review up. All right the locomotive is really really cool again this is a rapido 8-40 cm it's a dash h dash 8 locomotive with a cnbc rail with the website scheme all of the lighting features even though we don't have any on right now well, at least turn the headlight on and ditch lights on but uh all of the lighting features are really cool tons of lighting features tons of detail smooth operation a little light on the pulling power if you're wanting to pull like a really long consist with one locomotive but two is plenty all the independent lighting controls and the details are really nice so once again i think rapido did a good job so i'll leave you with a run by here at this exact spot we'll see you next time right here on the channel take care